So I'm Matt Winning at winningstrength.com and today we're going to go over wraps and how to put them on properly. Now everybody has their own technique of how to do this, but I'm going to show you how I wrap my wrists and how I wrap my knees when I broke world records in powerlifting. Hopefully they'll be able to help you make better decisions in how to use these properly, when to use them, etc, etc. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is wrist wraps. Now I like to use the longer ones depending on federation. You might not be able to use ones these long, but the same rules apply. So what I like to do is I don't actually use the thumb loop. I grip the pinky with this side right here. And then the first wrap that I do is actually over and down. Okay, so I go this way. Then I come back this way and I do another zigzag so you see it looks like an X. Come this way, then I go high again. Then I go low again, then I come around, and that's about as locked in as you're gonna get that, that wrist. Now, you're gonna have to get that off the hand when you come up to the platform, but for most of us at training the gym, it doesn't really matter. So if that's how I wear mine right there, seems to work really good, and it seems to give me a lot of protection. The real trick is you wanna to try to cover the actual wrist joint itself. A lot of people go way too high or way too low and then they end up not even really getting a lot. You want about three or four layers right on this joint because in reality that's what this is for is to protect the wrist. So if you can make a crisscross at the wrist position, I find that it helps lock the forearm into the hand, gives you a high coverage and a low coverage and able to give you a really good position on that wrist joint, keeping them from rolling as much on the bench press and give you a better um, likelihood of hitting your PRs and also it makes it pretty easy to do yourself. So let's move on to the knee wraps. Now in the last four or five years that I've trained, it's been mostly raw with no knee wraps. But knee wraps have become pretty huge in training and there are world records in knee wraps in themselves. Now a great knee wrap job can be anywhere from 75 to 150 more pounds of extra strength just by wrapping your knees. A lot of that's due to the technology and due to the length. So in certain federations, this length of wrap would be too long. But for us, this 2.5 meter wrap is actually about exactly what we do, or 250 cent centimeters. My favorite wraps that I use for this type of stuff are Mark Bell's um, from Super Training, um, Strong Brand, and Elite FTS makes great stuff as well. Now, the first trick to doing a great knee wrap job is the knee wrap itself needs to be wrapped. And it needs to be wrapped tight, especially if you're doing it yourself. So what does that mean? Well, that means I lace it out. And then what I do is I actually tighten the knee wrap up and I make it like I'm rolling it pretty tight. I'm not just lacing it tight, I'm actually rolling it. And what that's doing is I'm pulling tension on it and creating this thing, getting it as tight as I can to make it to where it's condensed and already stretched, okay? Now for those of you that haven't been in the game very long, I broke a lot of American records in the USAPL and in equipped lifting where knee wraps were crucial in hitting the biggest numbers I possibly could. So I do know a thing or two about these knee wraps. So the big thing is, is get the knee wrap as tight as you can. And then while you're storing it and waiting for your knees to be wrapped, you take one edge, you loop it, and you pull the edge through so it stays together. So now I can throw it across the room and it's not going to come apart. Okay? So that's step one. The next step is pull it apart. Now it's ready to be wrapped. What I like to do is start on the back of the knee. So what I do is I come right above the top part of the calf, lace it here, hold this part here, come around about as tight as I can get it, lock it, okay? Now the knee wrap's not gonna go anywhere. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna straighten my leg out as much as I can, and I wanna make sure I got 50-50% coverage. So you see, if I go up here, it's too high, and if I go down here, it's too low. I want about 50-50% coverage. So I try to get that black line about as lined up as I can, pull as tight as I can. Now notice the direction of the knee wrap. The knee wrap is actually going towards the center of the body, okay? You don't want to wrap your knees outward, you want to wrap them inward. Because when you push out the squat, it's going to give you a little bit more power. So what I do is I come around, I'm doing a 50-50, all the way to the top. You notice I'm pulling both ways, taking the, the friction out or the, the stretch out of the knee wrap, pulling it this way, pulling it down, pulling it over. So you're constantly getting the tension out of the out of the wrap and making it as tight as you possibly can. Now the trick at the top is you actually want to lock the entire muscle belly in. So as I'm doing this 50-50 split, 
I want to try to get up here to where that entire VMO and the attachment of the LMO is completely locked. Okay? Down, up, down, up, down. So you just keep pulling it tight. Now I'm up high enough. I've got the knee completely locked. Now I'm just going to do another loop right here. Now for me, I didn't wear my knee wrap super tight. This thing actually hurts right now. But I leave enough room here to pull this way. And then I usually have the lace as so. So as you can see now, my knee barely wants to bend. This could add anywhere from 75 to 150 pounds in your squat, depending on your technique and how tight you wear your wraps. A lot of times your limitation in a knee wrap squat is still going to be your upper back or lower back holding position. Now, the big thing about wrapping knees is timing. So if I were to wrap my knees and then I don't go up to squat for five minutes, I'm in big trouble. So you have to practice and get used to them being tight and hurting, and you also have to put them on at the right time. So what I like to do is I don't put my knee wraps on and be in them much longer than about 45 seconds before I got to squat. Otherwise, my, my legs are actually going to fall asleep and go into uh, a state of pain that I really don't like. And, you know, when you're already putting 900, 1,000 pounds or more on your back, you don't want the knee pain being an issue as well. So this is how I wrap my knees. I like to have this at the top for my own use because now if I want to take this off, all I got to do is pull this first string, flip it, and now it comes completely off pretty easily. But to reiterate, the trick is to lock from the top of the calf all the way to the belly of the muscle. So I'm wanting to lock from here to here. It's protecting the entire joint and I'm making sure that I have 50-50 coverage all the way up and pulling the slack out both down and up in order to get all of this tension out of this knee wrap. Now some people like stiffer knee wraps. I personally like ones that stretch more. You seem to get more coverage especially if you have a bigger leg. But the same thing would apply. You would wrap actually this way on the left leg to pull this way. So you're trying to draw this way and that keeps everything when you're pushing out on it. I can tell a huge difference, but that's how I wrap my knees. And like I said, if you're doing it yourself, you want to have the release point at the top. Um, it's not really a rule, but I would say that it makes it a lot easier to deal with yourself. Um, and like I said, don't sit around in your knee wraps too much. Like, make sure you get in the knee wrap, do the squat, and get out of it because it does restrict blood flow to the calf, does cause your legs to go to sleep. Um, and I would say that you don't see a whole lot of it, but I would be careful using this type of very tense, very uh, highly compressive type material if you have clotting issues, uh, vascular issues, or anything of that nature. I probably would go towards just knee sleeves versus using some sort of a knee wrap. You definitely don't want to cause some kind of a vascular issue due to this. And these guys that at the top level wear these things so tight, it's crazy. Um, when I squatted the world record in equipment, which is there's a picture over there of these exact knee wraps. So you can see we don't use knee wraps often. These are the exact knee wraps that are in that picture. And that picture is from 2011. And that is a 1200 pound geared squat in these wraps. And Eddie Cohen, when he wrapped my knees, wrapped them about 50 to 60% as tight as he wears them or wore them in competition, meaning that I'm a big sissy and I can't wear them that tight. But some of the guys that I've seen at professional competitions like Milanichev and those dudes, I don't even understand how they wear them that snug. It's, it's completely crazy. But if you can stand the pain and you're healthy, they will give you a lot of extra strength. But I would tend to want to stay away from knee wraps if I was trying to put on more muscle tissue because they're going to give you more kinetic energy and more spring. But at the end of the day, the knee wrap is going to be doing some of the work and if your main goal is aesthetics or looking good, the knee wrap is probably going to help you lift more weight, but it's probably not going to add a lot of muscle size. That's just my opinion. So in closing, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of tricks of what I use for wraps. I like to use more stretchy wraps. Um, try to do a crisscross thing on the wrist. I like to do that. Start up high, work your way back down, and then make another cross here. Uh, for knee wraps, make sure that you're trying to get 50% coverage so when you bend your knee, you don't show skin in between and create a blocking point or a, you know, a spacing point between the knee wrap. And make sure you're pulling it both up and down to get as much tension out as you can. Um, the other thing in closing is that make sure that when you wear your knee wraps that you have them on in a timely fashion. You get your squatting, you get them off. I'm not really a big fan of restricting that type of blood flow for that long. I think if you have vascular issues, it could be an issue. So if you want to hear more about my story about how I broke the world records and when I was wearing all this equipment, 
get the powerlifting manual. I go step through step of how I put this stuff on, how I broke world records in equipment, and then how I flip back to raw. It'll be an interesting story for you to read nonetheless.